Hey, welcome back to another episode of Adam Gaming TV. Our host is Anthony, and we got over here is Jeremy, and we got Nick, and we're gonna be talking about Madden 2019. Guys, let's, talk, let's go right into it. I am excited about a whole new season. School's about to start, but the football season's about to start. What else is gonna start? 2019 Madden. Guys, favorite team. Uh, I'm, first of all, I'm super excited for Madden. This version of Madden looks really awesome. Uh, my favorite football team is the Baltimore Ravens. Number one, I love defense. Ray Lewis will always have my heart. To the 2018 Hall of Fame, baby, I'm coming home. Um, I became a Ravens fan from playing Madden 99, actually, on, on the N64. I didn't have a favorite team, so it was just kind of like, you know, I'd play whoever. So I would do franchise mode like all the time, and I was the GM of the Browns. I took them to the playoffs, and then they fired me. They just, I, I finally made the Browns good, and then they're, they're firing me. So the only team that would hire me the next year was the Baltimore Ravens. We ended up winning the Super Bowl for like seven years in a row. Wow. And so I became a Ravens fan. That following NFL season, the Ravens won the Super Bowl. Hey, now. It was, hey, now. It was meant to be. It was just meant to be. Okay. How about you? Well, the Rams is my favorite of the, all the teams right now. I do have a lot of little favorites, but Rams are probably my top one currently. Uh, they moved here when I kind of moved here, so I kind of adapted. So it was just meant to be. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Local, yeah. regional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's from good. Austin, so there was no, there's no local football team. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's yeah. there's there's Dallas. America's team. Texas. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the other one we don't speak of. Like, Cowboys are great, but those other guys. The other guys. Yeah. 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 The Texans are kind of like the like the stepbrother of the Cowboys. Like, the team. Oh, yeah, they're there. They're kind of the, the people that turn the other direction. Oh, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't party with those guys. Yeah. Two yeah. people out here. Uh, mine goes back from the, to the Denver Broncos. Actually, nice. you know, so I didn't understand it when I was a little kid, but uh, you know, my we, uh, the family got together and we all gathered around TV, and it was just always like watching the Broncos, and I didn't understand it. Go outside and play, come back, Broncos was on the next week. So I said, okay, I guess that that's our team. So I know from the family that was our go-to, and then I realized later on that all my um, father's side is actually from Colorado. Denver specifically, actually. That's cool. Yeah, That's so, cool. so it was really neat. So we, we still root, even though I've never lived in Denver, um, we still kind of go for them. They got a pretty, pretty awesome team. They, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. excited about that. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so let's go into it. Nick, fan favorite celebrations. Come so, on now. So coming into Madden 19, you know, you have these new fan fa like fan favorite celebrations that you can do after you score, like a touchdown, or you get a sack, or you get a safety, or like a, a big a big play like that. That's one of the big things that's been happening in in the NFL recently, where teams are like literally they're all they're all lining up to do have like a game of hot frog like after they score a touchdown, which is pretty funny. And like as a fan, it's really cool to watch and really cool to see that. And to as a gamer to be able to do that in the game is just even better. And that's yeah. the thing that Madden has always done is if it's in the game, then it's gonna be in the game, which is really cool to see. So I'm I'm really excited to see these these fan favorite celebrations come to the game. I agree. Me too. Yeah. Jeremy, new moves and real player emotion. Talk about it. They're always changing things, Madden, EA, and this is one of the biggest I think of long uh, changes they've done in a while it comes to the right stick. You know, that right stick's always been our juking, our, our stepping back, our bursting into the, uh, the pockets and everything. They kind of just like changing everything. They, uh, they have the locomotion new system that's where they're changing the, the whole stepping for it. They're just changing everything about that, which is going to be quite interesting to see. And then even the one cut, which it's kind of, if you look at any football, when you're going down out of the the hole, uh, like a running back, you got that one option, right or left. It, especially if a, a guard is right in front of you. So this one cut is really just giving that quick option, and they're actually putting that in, which is kind of realistic, which is great. And then you got a lot of stuff coming to defense too. One of it is the strap burst. It's kind of like they actually intimated the burst, uh, and the explosion feel of actually football. Football is not about endurance. It's about explosion, explosion, explosion. Quick, you want to be quick, you got to pick. Quick, quick, quick. So this gives you the ability to take that first step and go right and hit someone. 
Hear yeah. you. So yeah. what's the difference between 2018, 2019 on that right stick? Uh, a lot of stuff I would say, just like, a lot of it they don't talk too much about it, I believe. They just talk about it's going to be different. Okay. It's mainly going to be different. Just how, it all depends on what side of the football you are in, and then the distance you are. Because in 2018 you got like a meter around you. If you're on defense, you're able to hit at a certain time frame, or you're going to just miss. There's like a little circle of that players, which is great. Uh, um, when you're on the offense, that is your basically your spin move option or your uh, kind of dash to the left and right. I got gotcha. you. Okay, Nick, talk some more about some features. Well, more more features and, and the changes for the real player motion would be um, you can hit the hole. So as 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 the running back, you have your offensive line is set up, and basically what the line wants to do is they want to try and open a hole for the running back to just run right through, and where you can use that that one cut motion to either like cut through the hole, go left, cut through the hole, go right, you know, like, so you can do that. So with the hit the hole feature, it really gives you that opportunity. It gives you more and more of that opportunity to where like you're running in to go through the hole, you, you flick the right stick in the direction of where the hole is, and it gives you, it makes your player kind of burst through the hole real quick. I think we're gonna see a lot more of that like burst, that explosion that Jeremy was talking about. Yeah, that's great. In, in the Madden 19. Um, another thing that you can do is called push the pile, where you see like down at the goal line, like like there's like an I formation where like everybody's running to go try and just like jump and just score in, in, into the end zone. And you got the running back with the ball, and he's just like running behind like eight guys, just kind of pushing that forward. Cool. Well, now we can do that in Madden with the push the pile feature. You're just kind of pushing the pile forward, pushing your blocker in front of you, kind of kind of you kind of have like a blocker with you so you're like running with a shield which is really cool like I'm, I'm really excited to see that and they're making some more catching improvements as far as like the wide receivers and the defensive backs and they kind of imp they've been improving up they've been, they've been improving upon those since i believe madden 17. okay and they've just really like made them better and better and better which is really cool i mean like everybody loves a big like 50 yard bomb down yeah. the field those are always yeah. so exciting and to have more of that in games is just I was just playing in awesome. 2018 just yesterday, so I would like to see the improvements. I was bolting it just down. Just chucking That yeah, was like, yeah. come on, get it! But oh, was, yeah. That, that reminds, defense was there. That yeah. reminds me of one thing. They are adding chain specials, and it seems like having the, the hit the hole, uh, hit the hole and then the, the cut one, those seem like they'll be perfect oh, yeah. chain specials that they're going to add. Into yeah, I, I can't wait to do that with like, like, I'll play as the Rams, and I'll just be—I'll I'll hit the hole with Gurley, and then one cut, and I'm gone. Or I'll—I'll or I'll do the same thing with like Minnesota and Dalvin Cook. I'm—I'm I'm, I'm really excited to do that stuff. It'll be really cool to do to chain all your little combos together. It really like Madden has always felt like a football game, but now it's like a football video game where yeah. you can like totally do combos, and that's super. Yeah, it super feels cool. very multi-layered now. Yeah, it, it yeah. reminds yeah. me of Mortal Kombat a little bit, you know, just like adding making this whole chain special. Oh yeah, jacket. exactly. The, 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 the next step is, is just making football full on fighting games. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And it's oh, getting yeah. close. A little bit of hockey. You yeah, can yeah, yeah. around, you get a face mask, and you start fighting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the next thing you know, you got fatalities and just combos. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? Finish him. Exactly. <laughs> Jeremy, talk about some new franchise additions in the game. Well, the player archetype um, progression is pretty cool, actually. You, they change enough just a lot of the leveling up, the experience, which is pretty cool because 2K kind of did it a while back with having it where they took away a few like certain names and made it like their athletic ability is something. So we're going to get like four to two different types of abilities to level up through the game play to the training to just overall just the game experience, which is pretty cool. I'm not 100% know what they are going to bring to that. I don't think they've announced it exactly. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, but it's quite interesting. It's not going to be a regular level, I think. It's going okay. to be like just a massive number. Like it's going to add up maybe a, like a full number, maybe in the thousands to the two hundreds. Who knows? How about some coach schemes? Oh, coach schemes. Yes. Uh, co coaches can scheme now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Very, very, very good insights. Well, they can really build their team in these games, which is great, uh, to the fit the actual game they're going to play and the, the actual roster of the season, which is cool. Got yeah, it. Yeah, I think I think with with those coach schemes, you have certain coaches that are a little more you know offensive minded and some that are more defensive minded, and you can you can actually build your team with players that are more focused towards those specific coaches schemes. Yes, which is really cool. Yeah. Nick, new franchise additions, your input. 
Um, well, you have the new draft class creator where you can import the like full on realistic draft class, like the 2019 draft class, you can totally import that in. Or you can just, I don't know, throw all of Adam Gaming into the game and just, hey, look, we've got Anthony with the first pick, with the number one pick of the 2019 NFL draft, you know? Like you can do all that, which is really cool. You know, like it, it really, it really gives every like tons of people that that like ability to live out their like NFL draft dreams. Mm, so and stuff cool. Like that. I would do that because I want to see my name above a touchdown. <laughs> that would be so awesome. I would love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And little then drone footage for it. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, and then, like they've they've made the environments like a, a little more immersive and stuff. And like, like it feels a little more real when you're going into a stadium, playing in front of like a live like raucous, you know, just yelling crowd. Like they, they've made they've made that improvement set as, as they do every year. And then they also made it to where in franchise mode you can pick your team captains. I like that, which yeah. is really really cool. So like like typically on an NFL team you have captains on offense, defense, and special teams. Mm -hmm. And in Madden you've never been able to like pick who you want your captain to be. But now in 2019 you have the ability to pick your captain. So if you want your kicker to be your captain, your kicker is your captain. Or if you want you know your offensive guard to be your captain, then he's your captain, and it's great. And I think. I think with that franchise mode and the player archetype that Jeremy was talking about, you'll get more experience for doing these things. I it's like really it. interesting to see how they're making franchise mode more of like an RPG element, like RPG elements, yeah. which is really, really cool. Yeah, I really cool. like that. Yeah. This is a good insight. All right, let's go ahead and switch it over to Chad and Brian to see how they're doing. We're going to play an actual live gaming on Madden right now. The Eagles and the Los Angeles Rams. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. On first down, Wentz. Hurts over the middle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. He's the offensive player of the year. How about that for a bounce back? Many were questioning whether he'd have a sophomore. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Nelson Aguilar, seven. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Zach Ertz to throw. It's Wentz. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Mike Wallace. Wentz going to throw and give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown in a blow-offsided game like this. For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. <laughs> and now here is another interception. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. Things don't apply. All right, used to say, okay, there's a tight end going out. We're either going to put a big linebacker on it or maybe a safety. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's, it's just got a new quick change, or they showed him things different than what he expected. For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lamb, yeah, a little extra on top. Well, I've got a lap here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This is how this is how it works. <sighs> yes. Judge, judge, judge. I'd like to take a question. First question, Anthony from Adam Gaming. Hey, thank you so much, Chad. Anthony from Adam Gaming. Hey, how do you think uh, um, it went with the with the game? Like, how did you think that your performance went in your team? I think my team's performance, not up to par. Definitely got taken in that game, and it cost us definitely our chance to get to the Super Bowl, I, I think. And my decision is to leave the NFL, and I'm going to go back to my Hungarian roots and play for the Budapest Cowbells in the European American Football League. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Brian, over here, Brian, over here. Here to take your questions. Anthony from Adam Gaming. 
Thank you so much, Brian, for, for answering my question. For, uh, this is Anthony from Adam Gaming. Uh, how do you think that your team did in this uh, last game? Well, I think I think we won really did did really well. The bit of a blowout, maybe, but sometimes how the game goes. Any other questions? That's it. You whooped them. Thank you. Where where are we going from here? Super Bowl. Ooh. Between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And that's a big collision. He's knocked back with a good one. Let me tell you. Cousins. Left side caught by Diggs. Touchdown. Vikings. Stephon did today because they put it all together. Won the NFC North. How about that win over the Saints in the divisional round? The big fella. Touchdown, Vikings. Kyle Rudolph. 40 shots. Toe tapping. And of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Ooh. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. Again, Cousins on second and ten. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great... Working from the gun, Rodgers. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Cook with a first down and much more. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And my goodness, another interception. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. 20. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt. Any questions? Over here, over here, over here. Um, yes, you. You in that corner. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, Adam Gaming Division. Uh, what were um, your thoughts on um, the way the team... You're asking too many questions, Ready? Can't do it. So you want to just ask no, one No, question. no. This cookie doesn't have the time for this conversation. So I'm just going to take my lunch and go. Over here, over here, over here. Yeah, uh, I'm ready to take questions from the media now. Um, over here, over I'll, here. I'll take uh, Anthony from Adam Gaming. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Anthony from Adam Gaming Division. Uh, how did you feel that you and your team did overall on this team? In this uh, game? Honestly, I, I think we performed at a level that was it was good. We, we played well. I think we can play better. Um, you know, I think that there were a lot of mistakes that were made on the field. And, you know, I mean, there were a couple plays where we missed scoring. You know, like we really should have scored on that last drive. I'm honestly really disappointed that we didn't do that. And I'll have a talk with the players in the locker room after. But um, I'm really looking forward to the next game, and um, you know, all, honestly, all my thoughts and efforts and emotions are just onto that game. Sir, were you talking about the other team or yours? I'm uh, only I'm all, always only focused on my team, and I mean I'm only, always only focused on my team and my opponent. We can always get better. You know, there's there are always ways to find to to improve your team and just just make improvements. You can always find a way to get better. Well, congratulations on the win. Well, thank you. Sports is proud to welcome you to coverage of Super Bowl 52 from two-year-old U.S. Bank Stadium in it's, Minneapolis. It's funny that like this, this Tonight is all on the line. We yeah, play for the Lombardi yeah, yeah, yeah. Trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is taken terrible. about seven yards deep. Uh, and I don't know what you're talking about. These uniforms are yeah. definitely showing blitz here. Oh, uh, he's just trying to give you guys an excuse for I mean, I didn't drop like a mask. Boom, sack. That was bad. Bad call. Bad call. Julius Peppers right there. 
Shotgun snap for Newton. Steps away to his left. Oh, oh go big cam. Super cam. You can do it. You can do it. No, no, you can do it. The first play will be a field goal try. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. I really thought about running. And it was kick is right through. And the Panthers stay like this. Certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They are going for it. Keenum. But he will find his man for the first time. Demarius Thomas. And he gets this up to the 30 to the 29. Oh, the yeah. So shall we say a bold decision God, to go God, for it. And bold decision is going to pay off. And when you talk Here is Anderson on the oh. goal. Oh, yeah, I thought I was going to go for it. I did too, man. Oh. With the first it's a more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe to ask to match up to him. Keenum to throw on third and one. That's what I'm talking about. Luke Keekly to the man. Contact. Hard. They will go for it. It's Keenum. Get it. Oh, 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 oh. Go, here. He lost go, go, go. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he will score. I try to do those numbers. If you toss him to the On second down, here's Keenum. Flush still now. And some room to maneuver. And they get him down, but not before he gets across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 yards. Remember what I said. Personal victory team. Number two, not bad. A final shot before the break. Newton. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to go deep for Funches. Oh, I'm taking it back. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Oh, uh, not another to touchdown. To Super cam. Come on, man. I knew it was so coming. That's okay. Sports grand That's okay. Stage in the he seriously just skipped the halftime of the Super Bowl? Who does that? It's a Super Bowl. Watch the halftime show. So both teams have their I, marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. No! And the decision to bring it out is gonna cost him about seven yards. But if you're on offense, be aware of ball may come your way. Now Newton. Forced out to his left. Space to maneuver at the 40. Oh, I wasn't even on the ground. The 45 before he's brought down. The coverage may be too. He moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. Back to throw. Newton. Quick hitter here. It's complete. 20. 10. Touchdown. Carolina. A big play there. 52. The wide receivers. I mean, these can get to the end. Yeah. Oh, first down. Thank you. First over here, guys. Shoot right there. Again, the four minute time as the drive continues. Yeah. 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 Booker from the pistol. Yeah. And that play yeah. went nowhere. Yeah. Losing yardage. It'll be yeah. back. Throwing on third down. Keenum. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. And he's got his own set up shot. Out of bounds? Midfield on the 50 yard line. And it certainly didn't help him trying to pick up a first down. Yeah, tried to get to the outside, lost yardage. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead increases even set here. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, Keenum eluding the pressure right. And he fumbled it. It's nice. on the ground. And it's picked up by the oh, Panthers. Oh, and they'll start out with good field position at the 47-yard oh, oh. line in enemy territory. They decline the penalty. Yeah, you can accept it. I'm trying to work through it. Yeah, at zero. Yeah. Figure yeah. Out why the game's the game. Be confused. Mm -hmm. I, that's under, what I think. Under 65 and a half. Under 65 and a half. the penalty. That's true. I mean, that's the heat of the moment, had. they thought they were saying to Over here, over here, over here. Over Anthony here. from Adam Gaming. Thank you so much for taking my question. Brian, wow, what a game.
uh, guys getting so close to the championship and just kind of got taken away from you. What's your thoughts on the performance of the overall game? I mean, I think I just team cracked under pressure, couldn't handle the stress, come back stronger next year. Yeah, um, well, I'm ready to, to take questions from over the media. Here, over here, over here. here. Uh, Anthony, Adam Gaming. Yes, uh, thanks for taking my question. Wow, what a, what a great performance. It was, it was awesome. How do you think that you and your team did overall? I mean, going all the way, that was just awesome. Uh, I think we, um, I think we did pretty well. Oh, oh thank you, thanks so much. Um, you know, I think, I think when when you start a season, and you end it the way that we did, you know, you go out there, you you set your goals, you meet your goals, and it's just it's just a really good feeling by you know by my team, by myself, all of us all together. I really think we performed to the level that we could. I'm very proud of the fact that, you know, didn't give up a touchdown the entire the entire way. It was really good, really good, really. Really proud of my guys out there. Really, really proud of them. Really proud. Proud Bob here. Proud Bob. So, take care. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our commentary and a little bit of that game footage. We thank you so much for watching uh, yet another episode of Adam Gaming TV, and we'll see you next time.